What's up, party people? My name is Sean K of Heli Direct. I hope you're doing wonderful on this blessed day. I'm coming to you to give you a little bit of info on some things that I kind of searched around for, but had to figure out for myself. And hopefully this will help you out uh, going through the same process. So I have a Hobby Wing ESC on an Oxy HF that I'm uh, building right now. And uh, I have Futaba, as you can see. And uh, I'm like, you know, I want to use the Hobby Wing uh, ESC, but you know, there is a telemetry adapter and I wanted to figure out how to actually get this hooked up as far as the gear ratio, pinion, main gear, what slot it goes in, stuff like that. Um, after going back and forth from the radio to the ESC and not really being able to find out how to do this, I kind of stumbled upon this and wanted to share this with you. Now, the things you're going to need is a 2S LiPo pack, you're going to need the Hobby Wing uh, functional LCD program box. You're going to need the actual Hobby Wing S Bus 2 adapter. You're going to need a mail to mail plug and a Y harness. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to put the uh, Y connector in the ESC slot. Make sure you watch where it says negative, positive, and signal. You want to make sure those are matching up correctly. The next step is to plug the adapter into one end of the Y harness. And here's the trick. You want to plug it right back into the other side. Now, most uh, Y harnesses only have a uh, uh, two receptacles, so or two female ends, I should say. So you want to stick this one in on this side, match up negative for negative, plug it in. And then you want to match up negative for negative on this side. Now, you have a nice little loop here. And everything is going into the ESC slot. The second, well, the one in the middle. So, we've got a nice little loop going on there. And then what you want to do is make sure that your negative and your positive leads are matching. This is where you put the battery. So, we're going to slide that in. You're going to see the LCD come on. You want to hit enter or OK. It's going to say connecting ESC. Please wait. Software update mode one. It's going to say uh, S bus. That's what you want if you're on Futaba. Now, the first menu is your moto pole pair motor pole pair. It's not asking you for the exact number. It's asking you for the pair. So if it's a 10 pole motor, you want there's two. There's five pairs of two. So you want the pair, you want to divide that into half. So if it is 20, then it is 10. Now, make sure this is on, the green light is on and you're getting power and everything. So that's a telltale sign you're in a good, you know, good situation. Now, the next one you wanna to skip to, item two is your pinion. Um, you wanna make sure you count your pinion, make sure you get the exact number because if you don't have the exact number, all your numbers and your head speed will be completely off. You lock that in and you hit okay. Right, it's gonna save your data. Uh, actually, make it a good practice after each item. Hit save, just so it's locked in. All right, number three, main gear. Put in your main gear, make sure you count the exact numbers of teeth on that main gear. Uh, it usually tells you in your manual, uh, or online, or you'll be able to find it, or you can count it yourself. Make sure if it's a black uh, main gear that you use a different color other than black uh, marker to mark those teeth. All right, next, uh, hit save, okay. Data save, okay, all right, boom. Now here's the last one, or I believe the last one. Number four, start slot. Now, if you're a Futaba user, when you do telemetry, you have different banks and slots where you can actually place your telemetry readings. Uh, there is eight, and then there's 16, I think then there's, I think it's 24. Oh, there it is, 16 or 24, I was correct. So here is the default uh, uh, 24. Go to the next item. Now, there is no more items. So that's pretty much all you need. So that's how you set up this dongle, this adapter, this S-Bus um, adapter here to read from the Hobby Wing to the actual Futaba setup. Now, after that's done, it should be plug and play. Um, but I don't want to get all into each one, each personal setup. But I will tell you this, um, this does work. I've used it on other machines and this is how you do it. There it is. Appreciate you guys. See you next time.